In this segment, we're going to look at Wapishana pronouns as they would be used in simple intransitive and simple transitive sentences as the subject or the object of a verb. I'm going to have two sets of pronouns. They have the free form standing as a as an independent word and then they have the bound prefix on the front of a verb in this case for the subjective pronouns first person singular ongaru ongar ongar I second person singular bugaru bugaru Third person singular, masculine, uru, uru. Third person singular, feminine, uru, uru. Third person plural, wow now, wow now. Second person plural, unau, unau. Third person plural, inau, inau. So in our sample sentence, we have Ongaru sukapan. Ongaru sukapan. I rested. Bugaru sukapan. Bugaru sukapan. You rested. Uru sukapan. Uru sukapan. He rested. Uru Sukapan Uru Sukapan She rested Wanao Sukapan Wanao Sukapan We rested Unao Sukapan Unao Sukapan You all rested Inao Sukapan Inao Sukapan they rested. Or in the bound form, as a prefix onto the verb, sukapan, rested, you have on sukapan, I rested. Bu sukapan, you rested. Usukapan, he rested. Usukapan, she rested. Wasukapan. We rested. And then usukapan, used again, um, forms both the third singular masculine as well as the second plural. Usukapan. You all rested. And isukapan. They rested. To form the objective pronouns or a pronoun as a direct object, you have basically the same form, but syntax indicates um, that it is objective because it follows the verb. You have Tom in the position of the sub subject in these sentences. You have the verb, tukapan, saw. And then you have the free form of the uh, uh, pronoun ongaru. Tom tukapan ongaru. Tom saw me. Second singular. Tom tukapan pugaru. Tom saw you. Tom tukapan uru. Tom saw him, third singular, masculine. Tom tukapan uru, third singular, feminine. Tom saw her. Tom tukapan wanao, Tom saw us, first plural. Tom tukapan unao, Tom saw you all. And Tom Tukapan 
Idiaun, the only form that is actually quite different in the objective than from the subjective. Tam Dukapan Idiaun Idiaun Pans Tam saw them. Also the form can be suffixed to a verb and be of a bound uh, form as follows. Tam Dukapanun Tam Dukapanun Tam saw me Tam Dukapanupa Tam saw you Tam Dukapanupa Tam Dukapanuja Tam Dukapanuja Tam saw him Tam Dukapanuja Tam Dukapanuju Tam saw her then the first and second plural are not any longer in use. And the third plural, Tom Dukapanuju, same as third singular masculine um, for the suffix. Tom Dukapanuju, Tom saw them. The syntax and positioning is used to indicate transitivity. And so, in this third form of pronouns, you th there are several things going on here. Uh, in the Scholar's Dictionary, it's indicated as uh, double reference or something like a reflexive, but it's still unclear and probably requires some research into what exactly is going on here. It's called same subject pronoun Bagaru and so you'll notice that the first form indicates third person singular U and then when it re re speaks of him um, on the n it associates him with something that belongs to him and here you can also see that pronouns can be carried as prefixes on nouns as well as verbs but that also requires a little bit more research so in this phrase you have unaakan babaron unaakan babaron he took his axe the u being he and then the pa r simply indicating or echoing the first pronoun. The second sentence we have is Auna Oka Utan Pada Awun Auna Oka Utan Pada Awun so the o, oh, she couldn't do something. Auna o ka utan, and then pada pada awun, she herself couldn't sleep. Echoing back to the o, oh, pa. Then the third uh, sentence here we have aitapan. On abatan pa ugaru. Waitapan on abatan pa ugaru. We have three, four pronouns in this sentence. U says something that he knew. U aitapan on abatan, something that I heard. And then pa. Referring back to, I assume, the first person, him. He knew that I heard him, pa, ugaru, yourself, himself, in this sense. So, ugaru could possibly mean 
by itself self and in this case would be something like a reflexive verb <laughs>